Hey everyone, and welcome to Five Reasons Why Everyone Loves Prey, Rick. That's it. The movie Five got reasons. dropped a week ago. Last, yeah, last week. Yeah, a Another little week. known sequel that we even thought that we, we didn't even really know that was getting made. You know, a few reports here and there. Mm. Comes out, blows everyone away. Rick, you were telling me earlier, what has got the biggest streaming in Hulu? Viewership for Hulu. In TV ever. And it, TV and movie streaming, first off. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. So this film, without question, is well, well loved at the moment. Um, I've spoken to many people um, who have seen this film pretty well as it's come out. So, mm. I, uh, yeah, I mean, on Rotten Tomatoes at the moment, which I was just going to bring up right now, just so we could have a look and see where it's currently. I know it's sitting. pretty high in Rotten Tomatoes. It's up there. Yeah, if you were to guess, Rick, if you were to give it a guess, what would you say would be Audit at the moment? Or uh, for Prey. Oh, oh, it's, it's, no, do the critics. Do the critics. Have a crack. Critics, I'd say in, in the 80s, mid-80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the audience? An audience would be 94, 95, something like that maybe. Well, that's up there. interesting, Rick, you would say that because it's actually opposite. Oh, it is actually opposite. So what's the, it, what's uh, the figure? yeah, I'm just bringing it up now. Wow. Oh, okay. Here we go. Well, here we go. Ninety two percent the critics, and a seventy nine wow. percent the audience. This is where I sit with the critics, Rick. I think this film um, is a great movie, and it's a great yes. movie. And I'm going to say the most obvious thing straight off the bat before we get to our top five. Mm. This mm. is the best Predator film since Predator. I've heard that. A lot of people have said that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 100%. But let's get into our top five reasons why everyone let's loves Prey. Number five. Efficient storytelling. Yep. That's a big thing. Efficient storytelling. And what I mean, Rick, is when it comes to the plot and when it comes to the, the, the storytelling that they do in this film, there is no fat on the bone. It is very <laughs> lean. They yep. I get straight to the point, and which I absolutely love. This film is, yeah, you, know, you take out credits, ninety minutes, an hour and a half. It's a, sh yeah. which is a yep. nice brisk pace for a film, and it's a simple plot. I mean, it's literally about a girl who doesn't know if she's got the ability to be a hunter, who then learns to become a hunter. That's yeah. that's the plot of this film, really, yeah. essentially. Well, that's her story arc, at least, and as well. Yeah. But yeah, you've got to admit, Rick, this is this why I think this film works so well and everyone loves it. It's because it is such a simple story that everyone can follow. Basic, simple, straight to the point. You know exactly where you stand and wh where the story is going to go. I mean, if you haven't even followed any of the Predator movies, you can just mm. put this straight on and watch it and follow and know exactly where you're going. And I think that's Which, what makes it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and because of that efficient storytelling, Rick, that means you can have this set in a culture that most of us have never really understood or been a part no. of, you know, and they get to do it from, from that perspective as well. It's because it's such a simple plot. They can add all that cultural meaning and language yeah. and traditions and that in there, and it doesn't in interfere at all. It, in fact, enhances the movie. So... Yeah. So, yeah, like efficient, this movie is efficient just about at every level, even with the dialogue, mate. They they don't say a lot in this movie. It's they not, only it's, say what they it, need to say. Which makes it perfect. That's They're yeah, not just it's yammering for no movie. reason. They are just... No. Pfft. So Stretch efficient the point, storytelling no was our I number agree. five reason why everyone loves Prey. Number four, Rick. It's got to be the lead of the film. Oh, this, yes. This, this relatively unknown young lady who has, is, yes, who is, um, comes, you know, basically, she's an unknown. I didn't even know she'd been in anything. I think, I think most of them were quite unknown in this cast. Yeah. It was a very small cast, but yeah. Very I, small cast. Very small cast, but she, and you know yeah. that's another reason why this, in a way, another reason why this film works too, because it's, it's not cluttered and they're all unknown. So yeah. we're not looking yeah. at this going, oh, that's you know, that's Bradley Cooper. Oh, there's yeah. John Hamm. 
Like yeah. we don't have that kind of association. We're just we're locked in into these characters, and she mm. was phenomenal. She now, was up there. You're going to get a couple of fanboys out there, Rick, going, oh, she's a Mary Sue. She's no Mary Sue. Every ability she has, she's developed over the years. The reason why she became a good hunter is because she didn't worry about strength. She used her head. Hmm. She was very smart, very observant hmm. as a character. And that's why, you know, some people were complaining, and, oh, well, she knows how to use the predator tech so quickly. No, because she no, watched. No, she didn't. And she only figured out what she needed to know. Put that helmet there, and then when he fires that thing, it's going to come back, you know? And no, like, sorry, what was the actress's name again, Rick? Uh, Amber uh, Mind Thunder. Wonderful Mid -thunder. performance. Mid -thunder. She's got a yes. big career ahead of her. I, um, yeah. And it's a big deal to carry a movie of this size on your shoulders yeah. because you're in just about every frame of this movie. Hmm. And she did it so well. I mean, she, she, you know, her story arc, you know, she had to prove to herself and to her village that she, she's a hunter and, and, mm -hmm. you know, and some of the scenes and, and how she portrayed that, um, yeah. even with, with everything, uh, um, the way that she would handle that ax and everything, I would put her up as, as one of the badasses of female elite actors up there with Sigourney Weaver and, and, you know, what's that from? Um, Linda Hamilton, uh, Linda Hamilton, yeah, uh, uh, definitely. She is up there, and she's definitely going to see more. Really handled herself really, really General. well. Um, believable, and certainly you can tell it's got the capacity to have the emotional range that you need because yeah. when she was scared, you knew it, when she was yeah. you know, willing to take a risk, you knew it, when she was driven, she just emoted so well. Mm. So, she was number four reason why I think everyone loved the movie, Ever. she was great. Number three reason. Number three, it's down to the Predator. They reinvigorated the Predator character. Yeah. And how'd they do this, Rick? By going non-traditional in its style. This is a, if you can imagine, we have, what, seven billion people on the planet. We're all individual, all different, we all dress a different way, act a different way. Well, why wouldn't that be the case if you come from the land of Predators? Yep. You know, like, why wouldn't there be different ones? And this predator seems to be a bit more of a primal. You know, he's he, using one of his his kills, mm -hmm. his trophies, as his helmet. It's, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that people would say about the predator and all this. But if you, you know, they were saying, oh, he doesn't have the tech and all this. But if you actually strip it down and have a look at it, this predator is a lot leaner. Um, he likes to fight more of a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, he doesn't have the, the standard laser gun. That might not be because he might not have the technology. Like it's a he might be a broke years. version of a predator. Co correct. Maybe he's got it's bad like... credit. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But that, knows? that's what I mean. A lot of people had not. I think that's fantastic. I love it. I think that he had minimal of that, and he, but he had some pretty badass. He um, as yeah. for the predator character, weapons. definitely the most brutal kills. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like and the way he and and the fact the way the director like didn't make the kills too frivolous. Like some of those kills he really hung on to go, no, this is brutal, mm. this thing, you know, and people are going to mm. suffer at the hands of this predator. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially those idiot French-Canadian. The fur hunters. hunters the fur the hunters, fur hunters. Yeah. Mm. Numb nuts. But, but, um, but you said, like, this was hand-to-hand combat. And you said he just wanted to be the best. Hunter out there, and then he was stalking. Like he he fought the bear, he fought the wolf. Yeah, know? he fought the he, wolf he based just, upon yeah, yeah. The way it was, he was looking it for was a fight. There's no doubt about yeah, it. That's what he Correct. was looking for. So good. It was just yeah, good. which was That's great. Good. I even love like the, the the it starts off with the snake. He rips yeah. the spine out of that snake. <laughs> yeah. just, he saw which it. Was great. It, it? Yeah, yeah. Which was <laughs> wonderful. So the predator, really great design, mate. I felt like that made the predator actually. Creepy again, terrifying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which was which was just fantastic. So great work there. Yeah. Number it. two, Rick. Number two. Number two is really down to the fact that it's a challenge in this day and age of enlightenment. But this, how they intertwined uh, that culture into this movie, made it very yeah. culturally appropriate. Yeah, in the sense that 
They didn't, um, dem I don't think, and obviously, what do I know, being an Australian, a white Australian, but essentially it felt like they handled the culture with care. In fact, I, I know, it. Rick, that you can watch this in Comanche. Comanche, you can't. Yeah, they dubbed yeah. it in Comanche. I would yeah. have loved it if they if they filmed it. Like in Apocalypto Comanche. type. Yeah, and then have the – No, no, no oh, with the Comanche. Yeah, and then with the with the subtitles yeah. as well. As it, but yeah, no, I, I, I want to watch that version for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, no, and it's just the way they, they took time to show us some of the traditions and the high, how the hierarchy works in the camp and every and her role. Um, like it's just little things. Like every time, if she wasn't trying to save her brother or trying to hunt down this predator, in between, if you notice, she's always gathering. Yeah, so always collecting food or whatever, because that's part of her day and day that's life. Good. That's what she does every single day. Mm. Is she's a gatherer? She wants to be a hunter, but she's a gatherer. So even in the film, there are times that she's gathering shit all the time, which I love. No, I thought it was handled with care. I felt like it was handled with respect. Um, yes. Yeah. So it was. It was really good, and 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 a great foe for the predator. Like you know. Um, to be that kind of culture who were, you know, if it wasn't for, um, you know, again, Europeans coming in and giving them dodgy blankets, I'm being frivolous there, but, yeah, you know, that culture was pretty well in command and in sync with its environment. Yeah. You know, they knew what to hunt. They worked with they nature. They, they were king of their own domain in many, many ways. So it was good that they showed that again and, and I, I, yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah, I, I think it's something that the Predator series should keep going with too. Now is moving forward is to keep having these kind of movies set in different time periods and highlighting different cultures. It can be done. It can yeah, be done. I, Predators well, they just have been around for they, years. They proved it. Yeah. Just prove it. Like I read something the other day, and I'm big on this one. If they were to do a sequel, they have it set in feudal Japan. Yes, yeah, so like that samurais so, yeah. and ninjas and stuff like that. That would be cool, I reckon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this film, this film, I think culturally it's a big plus, and it and it made it feel like more of a film, Rick, that it did a straight to streaming. You yeah. know, it really felt like you know, oh, we're there with them in the jungle. You know, this isn't done in on the green camp. screen. No, no. Now, there was a little bit of CGI in the film, but not a lot, not a hell of a lot. No. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Big, back to basics. Big, that's good. big, yeah. You're right, yeah, it's back to basics. It's back to and basics. That, and that comes back to the efficient storytelling of the film, but also across the whole thing. They went back yeah. to basics. and With the lead of the film, they went back to basics, Rick. They got just a very simple... Uncomplicated, you know exactly what she wants, kind of character. Yeah, so the predator himself went back to basics as him. He didn't have all the no. rockets and everything yeah. else. Uh no. to big, yeah, back to basics and showing culture in a simpler time. No. Um, yeah, it. yeah. And and it's also back to basics, Rick, because it goes to our number one reason mm. why I think well, we think everyone kind of loves this film. And that is being number one, chick ding, is that it is a film of the moment. Yep. Meaning it has hit the cultural zeitgeist right at the right time. And there are a few things around that. Being that it's a film that, you know, we all had love for Predator series. And let's face it, most of us had our heart broken with the Predator. 2018. Yeah, we feel like by then that's it. Franchise is done. It is out. It is gone. Killed it. And uh, here comes this another Predator sequel out of the blue, and it caught people by surprise, and people love that because it's very hard to surprise people this day and age. Yeah. Right? Hmm. So to surprise people with such a powerhouse of film, made of the moment, word started to spread how good this film was. It was Bruce so Stone much Media. hype, so much hype on this. Yeah, you know, people it's starting just... to know this film is good. Yeah. And, you know, look at the response within 48 hours. How many people have already seen this film? Rick, you couldn't do that in the cinema these days. You couldn't. The amount of people have seen Prey in the last couple of days, there are not enough theatres to have the capacity for all those people to see it at the cinemas. 
So it has really hit the pulse. Like, like almost I would say like Stranger Things, you know, when that came out for that yeah. week, that is all everyone's talking about. I'll watch mm. Stranger Things. And mm. I feel like this week, it's very much around Prey. It's the same. Oh, um, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Everyone's talking about Prey. Well, the, uh, that, the fact that there's now been articles there <laughs> where the director's teasing the sequel. Yeah, and they have. They've set it up. If, if, if you, if you, know, if you well, remember, like the ending, if you know the ending and you follow the previous yeah. series and you'll know, yeah. um, you know, the well, whole look, season, the whole thing. Well, we yeah. are definitely doing spoilers. So well, let's just so, get yeah. out of the cat's back. She gets given the same weapon that was correct. Uh, the Danny Glover issued guy. to Danny Glover. In number two. Which leads up a question because if she's issued that weapon, how yeah. does that weapon go from her hands correct. back to the Predator's hands? Correct. To give to Danny Glover. So, in a way, you have set up a something there. You yeah. Know? I, look, I, I hope they don't do a direct sequel. I hope they do a completely different story. Um, but I, I would, I think the Predators still got, they, they proved that this franchise has still got life in it. But I like you perfectly said, Rick, back to basics in many, many ways. And it just made up for a really great movie. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I mean, if, I, I think if it, you know, it, leading into it, I don't think, like you said, maybe a direct sequel wouldn't be as good. But you can play on those storylines. There's so much in the comics as well, um, the Predator comics. There's so many storylines that you can Just you can venture out make and, it do an it. and you can. Series. Yeah, why not? You, you can know, ride this concept for another two or three films easily. And the concept easy. is easy. You put them in a different time. Could be Correct. medieval England if you wanted fighting knights and stuff. You could have them. Hey. Like I said future <laughs> Japan. You can have one set three hundred years in the future. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I would make it that that we see a different predator in a different time zone, like time period in our time period. history. Yeah, yeah. Um, facing it, I think that works. So I would say that. I would want to say that for sure. So why not? So yeah. But that's what we thought. That's the five mm. reasons why we think everyone loves Bray. Are we right? Are we wrong? Who knows? Uh, Rick, just quickly, just an abbreviated version, tell them how do they let us know what they think, whether we're right or wrong. Guys, all you need to do is give us a thumbs up for the video, subscribe to our channel, uh, hit that notification bell, and follow us on all our social media sites. It's easy and simple as that. And if you want to support us on our merch, follow that as well. All the links are down below in the links, guys. So check it out. Fantastic. It. All right, guys. And we'll see you next time on another number five show. Could be the five uh, worst MCU characters. Maybe that's your show. Who knows? Or... The five reasons why um, Ezra Miller will probably be in jail within a week. Uh, it could be. Oh, it <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next oh, time. Guys. See All you. Right. Bye. <laughs>